Alright guys, so I was out doing my drive and uh, I just like to go out and cruise. I've got a treat for you guys today. I found me a wild hay bale, that's right, a wild hay bale. They don't come out too often. They're really skittish creatures. Um, but we gonna, we gonna try to, we gonna touch one today. Now I got a field out here where they're all grazing and roaming. Couple known facts about wild hay bales. Number one, bark is a lot worse than the bite. Been there, done that. Number two, they can stare into your soul and find out your deepest fear. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get on them, get them down, stick your hand right up in there. So that way they can't look you. Because once they look you in the eyes, you're done. You're it is done. You're done. They, they ain't going no going back. So what we're going to try to do... So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to sneak up on this. We got a lot of traffic incoming and outgoing, so we got to watch out. We got to be careful. Uh, a lot of these hay bales, they're, they're they're staying out here in the field. Like they they don't they don't want to come to the road. They're skittish. They're scared. I get it. You guys stay out there. But we got one beautiful hay bale right here, right in the ditch. It's by the road. He doesn't seem scared. Right now he's facing away from me, so that's good because I don't want to make the eye contact. You know, my deepest fear come out. So that's good. We're gonna try to sneak up on it. Let me give you a little glimpse here of this hay bale. Look at it. Look at it. That's a beaut. That's a beautiful hay bale right there. My plan of attack. My plan of attack is I'm gonna sneak up, dive on top, try to slide down. Try to slide down, get my hand in there, and hold on from dear life. The only thing I gotta worry about is if I go to jump for this hay bale, there's a good chance they can turn around, latch on. As long as I don't make eye contact, we're good. That's why I got my PPE, I got my sunglasses, and I got my hat. If anything, the sunglasses come off, hat can come down, or hat goes off, I still got my sunglasses. So we're good. Just gotta take the, we wanna, you know, we wanna make sure we sneak up on this. Um, if anything goes wrong, you can do the magic conch shell call from SpongeBob, and if you wave your arms like this, real crazy, it usually scares them away. That's about the only thing that scares them away. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I don't judge it. It works. Don't, don't fix something that ain't. Alright, so here we go. We're we gonna sneak up on this guy. So, whew, as you can see, what had happened was, when it threw me off, I, uh, I went with the possum approach. Highly recommend it next time. Save your life. It didn't want nothing to do with me. It came up, it, it sniffed me. It did its little, hey. That's his call. But if you ever hear that and you out, you out in a field at night and you hear, Hee! and you just die, just die right there. Just go. Possum, play possum. They want nothing to do with you. As long as you're not moving, you can't smell your fear. You're good. So think about happy thoughts. Uh, that one, that one got me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him again. I'm gonna get him again. I promise. Next time. Next time. 
Scott Irwine with Scott Irwine Adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. There's no telling what we're going to find out there. And remember, animals don't exist.